Okay, so I got this Grout Refresh at Lowe's and it's Mape. And this is the warm gray. Now we just bought our house and it's 14 years old. <laughs> and this is the pantry floor. And the grout is incredibly dirty. It is so gross. And we do not want any of the tan, beige colors, cream colors in the home. And we can't afford to replace the tile right now. So I'm lightening it up. And um, I mean, like this is, this is how dirty it is, the grout. And then I come over to a corner you're gonna see dirty floors. I have so much scrubbing to do. It's even a little lighter there, but it's so dark. And um, I, I cleaned out the grout. I'm, I swept him off the floor. And then I cleaned the grout where I could see like specks of food or grime. Um, you know, I just used a little scrubby brush and some Windex. Windex is really good to clean it. And then I'm waiting for it to dry. And then I squeezed a small line from the tip of this into the grout. Now, you want thin lines like this, this thick line, for example, when I start wiping it with my little brush, it builds up. Now, if you get if you get this little bead, it, I don't know if you can see it. If you get this bead of buildup, it's hard to rub it off with a damp cloth. So I smoothed it out. You smooth it out. Now there's so much paint on this brush. I go to another spot that doesn't have much and I just, see that, that's stuck on there. Oh no, it's not. Okay, so I just kind of wipe it. See how it's thinner? But it's, if you want to keep it thick inside here, but thin it out on the top of the tile so it's easier to wipe. And so I come back over here and it's still pretty thick. And I rub it down. Then I'm just going to go to another spot and brush back and forth, back and forth. And I am on a knee pad because this kills your knees. It doesn't hurt my elbows or arms as much when I lay down because um, I had to lean down way under the cabinets over there. But you just brush and brush. And then I have a timer for 30 minutes. So when, when I have the timer go off, I literally stop. I, I finish, finish the bead of paint I've done. And then I stop and just get a pretty damp rag. I just squeeze out water and you rub lightly. Just, I rub, let me show you with my hand. I just rub with a rag like this. I'm gonna go around the whole square. I just rub it, rub it, rub it. It's, it's pretty dry after 30 minutes and I rub, 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 rub. And then after about two minutes, I rub it about three or four times, just gently, just kind of brushing it over. And then you just rub like this on the top. And here's one already done. And the great, now it's, it's so dark, I'm going to be probably touching up a little bit because you can see the dark grout coming through a little bit. But this seals it too. So I'll do a second coat. Um, if you rub too hard on the side of the tile, you're gonna start rubbing this out. So if your damp rag has softened this, the paint on the side, if it has softened the paint on the side enough, you can see it, it'll soften all this paint. It'll just rub right up and it leaves like tacky, little tacky flakes when you rub the paint up. So I've either been vacuuming them up with my little Dyson or sweeping it up. And it is great. I really love this. It's light with the floors. And if I just, you're gonna see my mess of a kitchen after moving, but if I swing over here, I have a long way to go. This is, this goes to the laundry room. I already did all that way. It was so much work. And then look, I have, you're gonna see my kitchen all the way that way. And all the way that way with my kitchen stuff. So it'll be a long process. I might not do it until the movers are gone because I know that they're gonna be walking and treading on this and I don't want it to get messed up with furniture and heavy, heavy traffic. It'll still get heavy traffic, but I've heard good reviews. So that's that. And, um, and this tile is a peachy, little peachy. It has, well, it has cream in it, but it has gray. It has gray and it's lighter in some areas. So I'm, I think it looks pretty good. I love it. Love it. I love it. And this stuff, it's probably, I don't know, to here. I've only used just a little paint. So I bet this whole bottle will cover my whole floor.